to the mountain. Speak to the problem and command it to move. Mark chapter 11 verse 23 For assuredly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things which he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. We can have whatever we speak in faith and in agreement to God's will for our lives. There are times in our lives when we need to speak to our difficulty, we need to speak to the obstacle, we need to speak to the mountain. Even with, without praying, God, Jesus encourages us. He says, don't even pray about the situation, but speak to that mountain and command it to move. It's good to have faith in our hearts, but faith confession uh, is also critical. We need to uh, speak God's word and we know that the release of our faith is through the words of our mouths. Let's look at Zechariah chapter 4 and verse 7. Who are you, O great mountain, before Zerubbabel? You shall become a plain, and he shall bring forth the capstone which shouts of grace, grace to it. Zerubbabel was uh, a king who was in charge of the rebuilding of the temple. And uh, it, it is fair to say that he encountered some challenges as he was um, planning and working on the construction and, and he could have come to a place where, where he thought that he could no longer complete the work that he had begun. And in, in such a time, uh, what he is encouraged to do is to speak grace, grace to his mountain, which were the challenges uh, that were stopping him from completing the work that he had started. In the same manner, there can be things in our lives that we have begun, that we have started. And as we encounter challenges midway, instead of giving up, let's speak to the mountain. Let's command it to move. Let's believe that through God, we can bring to completion what the Lord has begun in us. He who began a good work in us will be faithful to complete it. Let's speak to our mountains. Let's pray together. Father God, we thank you for the power and authority in the words that you have given us. God, we ask, O oh God, that uh, through your word you, you will help us, Lord Jesus, have optimum faith, Lord, at any given moment. That, Lord, even when we uh, face challenges, Lord, even when we face difficulties, God, Lord, that we will not shrink back, that we will not hold back. But, Lord, we will issue a command, Lord, with our mouths. And God, as your word says, to speak to our mountains, Lord, that mountains will heed our voice, God. That mountains will be removed in the name of Jesus. Lord, even now I pray for those who uh, are experiencing mountain situations. God, we release miracles, God, into their lives. Lord, we ask, O oh God, that they will experience a mighty deliverance, God. That your glory will be revealed, God, in an unparalleled way. That, Lord, your name will be glorified, Father, and, and, God, that your victory will be revealed, Lord Jesus, in the lives of those loved ones. Father, we thank you for what you are doing. We thank you for what you have done. Lord, we give you the glory and the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.